We're seeing a high uh, interest and high activity in the biomass market in UK. This is both in co-firing on large uh, coal-fired power plants where they're exchanging the fuel for imported biomass, but it's also in smaller uh, combined heat and power or power alone uh, power plants, which is the market where we are active. In UK there's been a lot of political attention to this issue for several years uh, with the ROCs and the RSIs and so on as incentives for developers. The problem in UK is perhaps that sometimes the planning stage of the project takes a little bit long. So the projects that have been under development uh, for many years are only coming to fruition now. But we are seeing a lot of activity now and many plants will, uh, will start taking off uh, in the coming years, both in the waste and the biomass. And we are obviously positioning ourselves to be a vital player uh, in this industry from now on. Well, it takes a long time uh, to get all the permits. Uh, you have to go through a lot of public hearings, etc. That's not bad, it just takes time. Uh, and of course, also in the end ensures that there's more support for the projects from the local communities and from the government and so on. Secondly, in the latter years, obviously financing has also been problematic uh, with the financial crisis. It's more difficult for the developers to get the bank financing for the debt. For financing, the banks uh, perceive biomass as more risk, a higher risk than solar or wind. Obviously solar, you have better records of how many hours per year do you have sunshine and how much uh, power should you then be able to generate from the solar. The same with wind, you have 10 year wind studies on the site and hence you have a very good idea how much uh, wind power you can generate. Uh, the upside on biomass is that normally you can achieve higher returns on a biomass plant than you can on wind and solar. Well, we hope that we can perceive, be perceived as lower risk due to our very long track record and our good technology. So if clients are deciding to use us as their technology provider, uh, it should uh, mean a lower risk for the project's uh, successful implementation in the end. Uh, and that's how we hope we can do our small bit to making it easier for them to get financing. For the Waste Incineration Directive, there are very stringent emission requirements. So if you, for example, burn municipal solid waste, there are some emission requirements you have to achieve that are maybe one-tenth of what they are from coal. Also due to there being more pollutants in waste than there is in coal, there will be more chlorides, there will be uh, fluorides, etc. in the waste that is not in the coal. Uh, and hence, uh, obviously, the Waste Incineration Directive also have to take care that the plants are cleaning for these pollutants as well. We have developed our flue gas treatment solution out of our UK office. We have contracts now for the waste to energy. So uh, obviously we can achieve the required uh, legal emission limits, but so can most of our competitors, that's not the issue. At the same time we have focused a lot on making it easy to operate uh, and easy to maintain. Uh, so we're using a totally dry flue gas, uh, flu gas cleaning system um, and uh, have sold this to several clients in the UK already.